Part Three, Ice Creams and Ices of a Little Cookbook for a Little Girl. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sweet Pea, A Little Cookbook for a Little Girl by Caroline French Benton, Part Three, Ice Creams and Ices. Margaret had a little ice cream freezer which was all her own, and held only enough for two little girls to eat at a tea party, and this she could pack alone. When she made ice cream for all the family she had to use the larger freezer, of course, and this Bridget helped her to pack. But the same rule was used for either the large one or the small. First break up the ice in a thick bag with a hammer until the pieces are as large as eggs and all about the same size. Then put two big bowls or dippers of this into a tub or pail, and add one bowl or dipper of coarse salt, and so on, till you have enough, mixing it well with a long-handled spoon. Put the freezer in its pail and put the cover on, then fill the space between with the ice and salt, till it is full, pressing it down as you work. Let it stand now in a cool place till you know the inside is very cold, and then wipe off the top carefully and pour in the cream, which must be very cold, too. Put on the top and turn smoothly and slowly till it is stiff, which should be fifteen minutes. Then draw off the water from the pail, wipe the top of the cover again so no salt can get in, and take out the dasher, pushing the cream down with a spoon from the sides and packing it firmly. Put a cork in the hole on the cover and put it on tightly, Mix more ice with a little salt, only a cupful to two bowls this time, and pack the freezer again up to the top. Wring out a heavy cloth in the salty water you drew off the pail, and cover it over tightly with this, and then stand in a cool dark place till you need it. All ice creams are better for standing two hours. Plain Ice Cream Three Cups of Cream one cup of milk, one small cup of sugar, two teaspoonfuls vanilla. Put the cream, milk, and sugar on the fire, and stir till the sugar dissolves and cream just wrinkles on top. Do not let it boil. Take it off, beat it till it is cold, add the vanilla, and freeze. French Ice Cream One pint of milk, one cup of cream, one cup of sugar, four eggs, one tablespoonful of vanilla, one salt spoonful of salt. Put the milk on the fire and let it just scald or wrinkle. Beat the yolks of the eggs, put in the sugar, and beat again. Then pour the hot milk into these slowly, and the salt, and put it on the fire in the double boiler and let it cook to a nice thick cream. This is a plain boiled custard, such as you made for floating island. Take it off and let it cool while you beat the whites of the eggs stiff, and then the cup of cream. Put the eggs in first lightly when the custard is entirely cold, and then the whipped cream last, and the vanilla, and freeze. Coffee Ice Cream Make either of these creams and flavor with half a cup of strong coffee in place of vanilla. Chocolate Ice Cream Make plain ice cream. Melt two squares of chocolate in a little saucer over the tea kettle. Mix a little of the milk or cream with this and stir it smooth, and then put it in with the rest. You will need to use a large cup of sugar instead of a small one in making this, as the chocolate is not sweetened. Peach Ice Cream Peel, cut up, and mash a cup of peaches. Make plain ice cream with a large cup of sugar and when it is cold, stir in the peaches and freeze. Strawberry Ice Cream Mix a large cup of berries, mashed and strained carefully so that there are no seeds, with the ice cream, and freeze. The easiest ice cream of all, Vanilla Parfait. One cup of sugar, one cup of water, whites of three eggs, one pint of cream, one teaspoonful vanilla. Put the sugar and water in a nice enameled saucepan and cook it without stirring. You must shake the pan often to prevent its burning, but if you stir it, it will make it sugary. After about five minutes, 
hold your spoon up in the air and drop one drop back into the saucepan if a little thread is made which blows off to one side it is done but if not you must cook till it does if your fire is very hot it may make the thread in less time so try it every few moments have the whites of your eggs beaten very stiff and slowly pour the syrup into them beating hard with a fork all the time you must keep on beating till this is cold have ready a pint of thick cream whipped very stiff either with a dover egg beater or in a little tin cream churn and when the egg is cold mix the two lightly and put in the vanilla i mean if you have a mould with a tight cover put it in this but if not take a lard pail cover tightly and stand in a pail on a layer of ice and salt mixed just as for freezing ice cream and pile more ice and salt all over it the more the better let this stand five hours or four will do if necessary and turn the cream on a pretty dish after you have made this once it will seem no trouble at all to make it if your mother would like a change from this recipe sometimes try putting in the yolks of the eggs well beaten with the cream and use some other flavoring lemon ice one quart of water four lemons two and a half cups sugar one orange boil the sugar and water for ten minutes strain it and add the juice of the lemons and orange cool and freeze orange ice one quart of water six oranges one lemon two and a half cups sugar prepare exactly as you did lemon ice strawberry ice one quart of water two and a half cups sugar one and a half cups strawberry juice strained prepare like lemon ice raspberry ice one quart of water two and a half cups sugar one and a half cups raspberry juice strained prepare like lemon ice peach surprise one quart of peaches cut up in small bits two cups of sugar whites of five eggs do not beat the eggs at all just mix everything together and put in the freezer and stir until stiff this is very delicious and the easiest thing to make there is when margaret wanted to make her own freezer full of ice cream she just took a cup of cream and heated it with the sugar and when it was cold put in three drops of vanilla and froze it End of part three, ice creams and ices. Recording by Sweet Pea.